Uh, and before I run out of mana before I even kill him. No, I did kill him. Look at that! We killed our first mobs with magic. I am such a powerful mage right now. Fear me. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sticky Piston sponsored Medulla Craft server for another episode of Medulla Craft 3 Lost Factories. Guys, this is episode 2. You know what that means? That means this is actually a series now. I, I, I can officially call this a series. We, we, I, I think I might even need to make a playlist now. This is kind of crazy. So yeah, back with you for episode 2. I've got a bunch of fun stuff planned, so uh, let's just get right into it. Today, what I want to do is get this uh, canola farm more automated. So I think if you remember, we were talking about having automated farmer up here and then some things to turn it into oil and, and yeah, just get some power running. So I did a little bit of resource gathering in between episodes and uh, let me just say we got some, yeah, a bunch of metals, a bunch of gems. Um, I did some mining in the overworld. Uh, I did a little bit of mining in the mining dimension. Uh, I did a little bit of mining in the Skylands dimension. So we were all over the place. I also went um, on a little bit of a exploration run and I gathered a few things, which I'll share with you now. So I, I got this um, waystone over here. And then if we pull up the map, I'll show you. Basically what I did was I just went off in this direction uh, to the north. Uh, I found a village, I found another village off over here, and then a third village over here next to this city. This is basically the last of the places that I found, and you'll notice that there's, it doesn't connect because I teleported home from here. So I found uh, a waystone in this village, a waystone in this village, and then I used the waystone in this village to come home. The coolest part about this, this over here is these are some some islands. Uh, some literal islands in the ocean with cities on them, and they are uh, pretty amazing. Besides this one that's taken out with uh, an asteroid, which we'll go harvest as soon as we get there, uh, this is kind of nice, and I think at least at least a couple of them are connected by underground passageways. So I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah, so we've got waystones now. We've got a waystone, and basically the two locations that I have are the island cities, which is the one I was just showing you on the map, and our Skylands dimension that we go to to go mining. Uh, we also managed to gather from the cities uh, and villages that we raided. We managed to gather these resources. I got uh, an ender, which is which will be nice once we get power up and running. Uh, a piston scepter. Uh, this inventory crafting table, which is kind of cool. We eat this and we get uh, crafting in our inventory, which is kind of cool. A spawner seeker scepter from Cyclic, which is very interesting. Uh, we'll have to take a look at that and, and use that and see what that's all about. And uh, some armor and another bean and a scroll of identification, which will come in handy as we start getting into uh, wizard, uh, the wizardry mod, which I'd like to get into sometime. Maybe, maybe this episode, maybe the next episode. We'll see. Uh, some more technological resources. I got an evoker fang. <laughs> this thing is intense. Check this out. So it is essentially the evoker attack as a wand. Uh, let me see if I can find some bad guys to use this on. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, oh, I also uh, went in here and lit up this building so we can start moving stuff into here and moved a couple of our uh, a immersive engineering uh, storage crates into here that we found on our on the, on the raid. So let me go over here and see if I can find uh, an innocent victim <laughs> to show you how this. Uh, this evoker thing works. It's so cool. <laughs> I hear a bad guy. I don't see a bad guy. Hmm. All right, let's keep looking because it, it's worth it. It'll be worth it. I promise. As soon as we find something. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's a spider. Iron doors. That's okay. We'll break through the window. But it'll be worth it. Watch this. Ready? 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 Oh, I missed him. I right, got him that time. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we have that now. <laughs> and uh, I feel pretty powerful with this thing. I got to be honest. 
Um, I had found one of these in my playtesting, so I kind of knew ahead of time what it was and what it did. Uh, so before I even like used it, I knew what it was all about. But yeah, pretty pretty excited for this. So anyway, yeah. So our plan today, uh, my plan today basically is to go and uh, get canola up and running, get that canola farm up and running, get it automated, and uh, get some power being generated. Let's go up here, and I will show you what we're working on with this. So basically, what we're going to be making is uh, a farmer, a fermenting barrel, an oil generator, and a canola press. And if I'm not mistaken, I have all of these things, with the exception of maybe the need to turn some of the stuff into its uh, applied energistics counterparts. So we have the iron casings. I think we can just make this. So that's the oil generator. Uh, we can pull that off the list by hitting A. Uh, we need the farmer, which I think needs... Yeah, this is the Inori crystal blocks. So we need to take four of the iron blocks that we have, one, two, three, four, and turn them into Inori crystal blocks by throwing them onto the atomic reconstructor. That's not the atomic reconstructor. <laughs> there we go. All right, so that's a done deal. Uh, now that should be able to be made. The farmer, we should have everything. Oh, are we missing? Oh, it's an iron casing. Okay, so I need to make another iron casing, which we should have all of the things for. Awesome. Then we'll do the farmer. Farmer, fantastic. Then we need a fermenting barrel. Oh, we're missing. Okay, so we need to take a one inari crystal there, and I think this one needs one as well. So we'll take two of these. And we'll turn those into uh, NRA crystals. Awesome. And cool. Now we should be able to make. Oh, I forgot. Did I forget? Oh, I haven't made the advanced coil yet. Okay, and I haven't made that one yet either. Sorry. Nope. This. Yeah. That, okay, and then this, uh-huh, yeah, oh, there it is, boom, nailed it. <laughs> All right, so then we need the gold nuggets, which should be there, fantastic. And alrighty then, now we have our canola press, and we can get that off the list. Now we just need the fermenting barrel, which we're only missing the wood casing. And we have done it. Okay, these are all the pieces that we need. The only thing, uh, there is going to be one other little piece that we're going to need to this, but we'll get it done once we get the rest of this set up up there. And that's going to be the power lasers, because we're going to need to run power to some of these things. Uh, and that's something we're going to do with lasers. But before we get to all of that, let me come up here and we will place... The rest of the blocks. So I believe the farmer places facing you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so we need to be in the middle block right here. Okay, cool. Then we're going to want a oil generator. And the generators are going to go in the middle. And I haven't completely figured out yet if it's going to be four generators because each one of these fields will, will create enough for, for one generator, or if it's going to just end up being one generator with all the different setups next to it. Um, okay, so then we're going to want a fermenting barrel and a canola press. And, and essentially, I think it goes, uh, if I put, I wonder if I put the canola press right next to that, if that will work. I'm pretty sure, hold on, I know it will work this way, though. I know it will work if we put that there and we put that there. That's going to be good. Okay. So now let's go down and make um, some of the lasers. Okay. So lasers is, let's see, let me go into actually additions and energy laser relays. So energy laser relays are going to be Restonia crystals, obsidian, and advanced coils will get us four. And I think that's exactly the amount of obsidian that I have, if I'm not mistaken. I think we found obsidian in one of these uh, chests. Yes, fantastic. Four obsidian. Okay, and Restonia crystals are just redstone, which we'll grab some of that. What was? What else did it need? Uh, blocks of redstone, advanced coil, which is... Ooh, gold. 
Okay, good, we have some gold. All right, let's take this all upstairs and we'll get it processed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put the gold into the crusher, which we have a bit of it going, that's good. So we'll put that in there. And actually I might have ingots already, I do. So we're in good shape. Okay, so we'll put that away, we'll put that away, we'll put that away. This actually can go in the furnace to be smelted. That can go in there, that can go in there. Okay, so we'll take two of those and make nugs. Sweet. Uh, which one in there? That's fine. Uh, okay, so let's see. We're going to want redstone and restonia crystals. That's not restonia. <laughs> uh, oh, I already have an advanced coil. Oh, well, that changes things a little bit, doesn't it? So that means, let's see, we're already at that point. So I really just need the redstone blocks times two, right? And then that makes this doable now. Hey, all right. So these, oh, you know what I think? I also need a wrench. Did I make the wrench yet? I don't think I did. Uh, what is the crafting recipe for the laser wrench? Ooh, it's two redstone crystals and an advanced coil. Okay, good. And the advanced coil that's Restonia around one of those. Okay, we've got this. We've got this. We got this, man. Okay, put that in there. Put this, 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 this. That goes there. Like that. And then... Oh, yeah. Inari crystals. One, two. Throw those on there. All right, and then we'll do two of these, one of these, which will give us the wrench, which will allow us to configure the lasers. Okay, so this is gonna want power. This is gonna want power. Do you need power? I don't think you do need power. Okay, so this is gonna want power. Uh, there is a problem with that setup. That does not work, actually. So let's, let's, can we shift right click? I thought we could shift click these and they would fall off faster. Is that not how that works? No, I guess it's not. Okay. So we're going to want these on top, actually, because if we try to put them on the sides like that, it won't work due to when I try to do this field, right? Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, I think it's like this and then like that. No. Can't connect the relays are either part of the same network Store really isn't the same type or doesn't exist anymore, so it's too far away. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, so this is going to be generating power. So I'm going to go from there to, oh, there. Okay, and then to there. Oh, okay, that's fantastic. Now we need to go downstairs and grab our uh, generator really quick. So here's how this is going to work. Um, oh, do you know what? Uh, I need to make another run of that recipe, which means I need more... I need more obsidian. Uh, let me check through these chests and see if we've got any more obsidian, because I need another another one of those uh, connectors. Otherwise, we need another pipe system to move the, the seeds. I was just thinking about that. Mm. I wonder if there's anything... Let's see. I don't think we have any pipes yet. And I'm not sure. Can we? Ooh. Hold on. Can this jumpstart our system? Actually, I just thought of that. Because uh, we could just put that right there for right now, right? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. cool. Um, and technically, we could use... Okay, let's do this. Let's take advantage of these for now and our current situation. And we'll pull this off of here because we don't we won't need to power that that way. We'll pull that off of there because we won't need to power that that way. And we'll use the um, lasers as item relays. <laughs> Check this out. So I can go up here and I can put two of these, just two though, back onto the atomic reconstructor and it will turn them into item relays. Nope, fluid relays, so I gotta do it again. Now they're item relays, right? 
I didn't realize, yes. Okay, so now we can go up here with these, and I can put, oh, how would that work best? Maybe underneath? So maybe go like this. Uh, that's gonna be, is that solid? No, damn. <laughs> Uh, okay, so put one there, and one there, and then we connect. <laughs> that's the wrong tool. <laughs> that's not a that's not a wrench. Uh, let's see, we'll connect that to that. Did that work? Hey, it worked. Um, oh, I'm locked in a cage. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would be hollow, or why that would be solid, uh, but it certainly wasn't. Okay, so... Are you getting seeds now? Wait, um, can I have an empty hand, please? Thank you. Uh, you're not getting seeds. Um, what is this set to? Hold a compass to modify. One, two, three, four, and an iron. Yes, okay. Right click to increase. Sneak right click to decrease. No. That's not exactly what we want. This is an item relay, right? Am I confused? Uh, hold on. Okay, so I got it working. I'm not terribly excited about how it's working, but it's working for now. I want to go get another uh, laser relay because I want to put this on this power instead of using the uh, spectra coil. But the spectra coil is working nicely for now. Um, and it's getting us basically everything full, right? So this is full of refined canola. This is full of, yeah, everything's working essentially right now. Um, so what I was missing was, I guess you need this item interface to get things into the network. Um, but pulling them back out of the network and putting them into a machine is is okay. So anyway, we made this item interface. We have the... Uh, Canola comes out of the bottom of the farmer, goes into the item interface, comes out of there through that laser, which this is why I'm not really excited about this, um, and uh, then goes into here, which gets pressed into canola oil, which moves directly into the fermenting barrel right next to us and gets turned into refined canola oil, which then again goes directly into the oil generator. So the nice thing about this process is there's no pipes really needed between here and there, and we're generating 80 RF, well, this is CF, but we're generating uh, essentially 80 RF per tick uh, with this generator, and it's more than enough for what we need for now. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about having this one version of this set up, and uh, what we need to do now is go get more obsidian and more of all the resources that it takes to build these and finish the other, uh, the other three and get... Um, get an idea because I think this this one setup and we you know what I might do I'll tell you what you know what, let's do this instead I'll do that between episodes what I'd like to do now is start on the wizardry mod because uh, I think this is going to be enough power to get us going for the early game stuff that we have going now like this is going to be enough um, for now and then essentially what we what we'll do soon is we'll come down here and we'll build a um, an oil refinery room uh, to refine the oil that we're making up there into the higher tier. Um, and then maybe throw generators down here. So, yeah, that's that's all ahead in future episodes. But for now, let's go downstairs and take a look at the wizardry mod. Okay, so we're going to need some magic crystals. We're going to need some sticks. I think it's a gold nugget, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we won't need that just yet. Spellbook, we're definitely going to want that. Spellbook, Magic Missile, we're definitely going to want that. One Duration Upgrade, that feels like something we might want. Um, I don't think that's actually Wizard Robes. And then I'm not sure about these Mage Robes yet. I'm going to hang on, hold off on using those just yet. And then Scroll of Identification might be nice because we can find out what this book is. Um, okay, so let's go into... I know it's... Blob. Electro blob. Why can I never get that right? Electro blob. Oh my goodness. Electro blob. Okay. And I think there is a, yeah, wizard's handbook that we can make using, uh, is that any of the crystals? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Using a book and one of those crystals. And I think I have, yeah, I do have a book. Okay, good. So a book and a crystal. Book and a crystal. Gets us the wizard's handbook. Hey. 
Okay, so it looks like the first thing we need to do is craft a wand. So uh, yeah, let's do that. So let's see, we'll put this in here, and we'll put that in there, and we'll put that in there, and we have a wand. Hey, we have our first magic wand. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> okay, so we have a magic wand. Uh, oh, and then an arcane workbench. Uh, limestone, lapis block, do we, ooh, purple carpet. I don't think, oh, you know, actually, okay, hold on. So lapis block, I think we can do the lapis block. Uh, and I think I brought back enough purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that should make purple dye. Perfect. And then we just need wool. Do I have any wool? I do have wool. And wool turns into carpet. Okay, so if I make two wool purple, and then two purple wool, that's carpet. Okay, fantastic. And then we so we do that, and this and what else and it was oh any stone and then that and that okay so this and this and this and this and then we need some stone do i have stone Ooh, i don't know uh, that's limestone will that count Hey, that counts all right so now we have an arcane workbench all right so i think we should do the magic stuff in this building, uh, maybe toward the top of this building, because there's a nice like glass. Um, oh crap! I forgot to turn the gloves back on. <laughs> I have this uh, climbing gloves bubble, which is why I took all the ladders out of here. But I forgot to turn it back on before I went up here. Um, yeah, because we've got this cool glass room up here, right? So maybe our wizardry could be done up here on top, looking down over uh, over this side. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I tell you what. I'm gonna put the 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 thing right there. Ooh, check it out. And now I think if I understand right, we put this in here, and then we put this in here, and yeah, that gives us mana. Okay, so now the wand is got some mana. So now I think we can put the magic missile spell. Does it go in there? No, it goes in here. And go set. Ah, and now our wand has magic missile, right? Right? So now I can I can magic missile things. Oh no! Oh. Uh. Oh, I gotta get to the. Ro oh, there it is. Ah, magic missile. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Now I think, if I'm not mistaken, we can use this table also. To put the spell book, do we put, let's see, hold on. Uh, how does this work? Let me look it up, because I think there's a way. Uh, right clicking whilst holding will identify the first unknown spell book or scroll on your hotbar. Consuming, consuming the scroll in the process. Okay, so if we put this unknown book here, and we right click the identification scroll, ooh, now we know this is Ignite, which is a, a novice spell, a fire attack. Oh, sweet. So we can put that in the in our wand as well, right? So we put that in there. And then this, will that be slot one, maybe? All righty then. Okay, so that goes back in here. And then let's see. Now we have Ignite. Oh. Uh, except it doesn't work. I wonder why it doesn't work. Uh, oh, it literally sets things on fire. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Um, all right. I, I need to magic missile something. Hold on. Let's uh, change this to magic missile. Let's go see how it works. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> uh, so let's run down here and see how far away we have to go before we actually get some mobs. But there's got to be some mobs down here somewhere, right? Oh, I hear, I hear a spider. Okay, okay. This is our first ranged weapon, and it's magic. Magic. I'm so excited. Ooh, magic missile. Oh. How about, come at me, bro. Oh, I'm missing. Magic Missile is not supposed to miss, though. <laughs> come on, Electro Blob. Uh, and it's really, really weak right now. Uh, in before I run out of mana, before I even kill him. No, I did kill him. Ooh, look at that. We killed our first mobs with magic. 
I am such a powerful mage right now. Fear me. Let's go. Another creeper. Come here, creeper. Get wrecked. Get. 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 Okay. Get wrecked in the water. Yeah. Oh. Oh God. No. No. We're burning the tree down. Get wrecked, creeper. Ah. Now he's getting wrecked. There we go. I finally hit the creeper. Get wrecked, creeper. <sighs> he's still on fire. Oh. And then. Oh. And then I can change to magic missile. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so we'll set him on fire first, and then we'll use magic missile. Uh, rip trees. <sighs> magic gone wrong. Uh, we will not get him killed before he gets to us. Oh, it, sh it knocks back a little bit. Oh, that's very nice. I wasn't noticing that before. Yeah, I didn't think that would be able to uh, to take him out in time, but that worked out well. Okay, so magic is pretty darn powerful, guys. This is uh, this is pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed that. Okay, um, where did you come from, and how did I not see you when I came in? Oh, hi. <laughs> That's so fun! Oh my goodness. Okay. And these are just the beginning spells. These are just the novice spells. What are we in for? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, I, I think that's just about it. Oh, hi, Creeper. How are you? Would you would you like to see my magic missile spell that I learned today? Isn't it cool? Okay. D this is... this is. I'm, I'm going to be too powerful for my own good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so I think that's going to do it for us today. But, uh, wow, what an episode. So, lots of progress made today. I know there's uh, that I did a lot between episodes, and I hope that's okay. Um, I'm going to try to push the, the series along, and they've seen the beginning of a lot of things. Um, so, I kind of want to get, you know, get along and get on to the, to, the, to the fun stuff. So, that's what I've done. I made a lot of progress today, and, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So uh, I think in the next episode, we'll look at a little bit more of Electro Blob's wiz wizardry. We'll get a little bit more of our applied energistic setup going. I'd like to automate the crusher uh, into a furnace so that we have ore processing a little bit more automated and maybe get a couple more of these fields set up. So uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's going to do it for us today. So thanks for stopping in. Thanks for watching the episode all the way to the end. I do so appreciate it. Also, big shout out to our host, Sticky Piston Hosting. Uh, once again, link in the description uh, for an awesome deal that you can get and help out the channel a little bit. Hashtag ad. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.